Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff Yetunde is asking the court to compel the defendant to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Pumi Asaulu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Amol Yesunde and Tijani Akumai. Thank you, Akin. Amol Yesunde. Yes. Can you narrate to me why you've brought the father of your children into court? Um, I left him about four years ago because he's not responsible towards the kids, towards me and everything. You were living together before? Yes. So, when I when, left him... When did you start living together and how long were you living? We how spent long? almost four years, three years, four years together. Okay. We did introduction. Because I got pregnant when we were dating, so I went to meet his parents and came to meet my. So we did introduction, then we, we got an apartment, we started living together. Well, that means you had a traditional wedding. Yes. You were married, yes. but under the customary law. Yes. Okay. So he doesn't do anything, he doesn't work. When I tell him that, what do you want? Because when we started, he told me that. He graduated from um, Lao Tech University. Like he's searching for a job. So I said, since I'm already established and you're searching for a job, getting a job will not be a problem. I know one or two people that will meet that will get you a job. Then we started the journey. So when I, when I tell him, provide your CV, let me give people to get you a job. Is a lie. You know, you know, it's a, they just tell me that. Don't worry. When I'm ready. Don't worry. When I'm ready. So I've been trying to keep everything together. My business went down, nothing for me to put in the shop. I was doing business when I met him. I don't, he brought his brother to come and be staying with us. After that time, he brought another guy to come and be staying with us. So, and he doesn't, do, and he doesn't do anything. He doesn't provide Order. any gifts. He doesn't give me anything. To the extent that if I want to pay my shop rent, I will need to go and meet my brother to give me money to pay shop rent. Because when I started my business, I had two, uh, three stores and I have one shop. So I sold one, remained two. So when I just realized that he doesn't do anything, and he, the problem he's having is that he doesn't like when you tell him that, do this, this is the best thing for you. He doesn't like it. Because he sees himself as the best man ever. I went to meet his parents several times that, several times that, please, I want you to help me talk to him because I can't cope anymore. I'm getting tired. Now, this is second baby. I'm about to divide my second uh, daughter. I can't cope with all this anymore. His father now told me, Daddy, that you've been telling, talking to him, telling him to do something. But if he reveals to give me money for food, I should stop cooking food for him. I should just face my, my baby, that I should stop giving him food. And if, if, if I like, I can give his brother food or the other guy, but I cannot do it. So when the mother used to tell me that, I said, don't broadcast my son, no. When God is ready, he will do this, he will do that. He started cement business in Akute. If, he, if, my, if my husband goes to the shop today, the following day, if he's coming back from that shop, he will come back with new boxer, new singlet. This is not how to do business. If you are doing this every time, you will not proceed. You, will not, you, will not, you are going nowhere. After like two months, that, mo that money finished. Nothing again. The only thing you know how to do is to just wear dress up, wow. wear cap and go out. That is it. He doesn't care about anything in the house. He doesn't care about anything. He paid his daughter's school fees once, 12,500 12, naira. So after that time, he started beating me. He started beating me. And if he's angry, he doesn't, he doesn't know how to control his anger. I cannot cope again. Then I left him. And I, 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 I left him with my two kids. I left him. So I left him because I want him to, I thought maybe he would change. Like maybe he would call me and tell me that, ah, okay, well, let's settle this thing. I'll be a change man. What do you want me to do? That's what I expected him to do. But when he called, he said, ah, I went to the house. I did not see your belongings. Congratulations, no. You made me a free man. 
I can do whatever I like with my life now. I can go anywhere that I like. It's, I was crying. But my sister said I should not cry. That I should thank God that I'm alive. What if you are not alive? What are you going to do? You just need to pick up your pieces and start all over again. Then I start my life over again. I told my mom that I want to continue my business. When was this? Which year? That was like um, about four years ago. So I started my business. My mom went to a corporate school cooperative. She borrowed money from me. My brother supported me. Then I started my business again. So when I started the business, what I... What kind of business are you in? I sell a provision. I used to buy from companies. So when I started the business again, I got an apartment. Me and my children, we are still living together. And I went to the, my brother's place last year, December. I saw school bag, two school bags. He dropped them for, for there. I will not call him that. Okay, now you drop school bag for your children. Everything you know they are going to school. Provide for them. If it is only one person school fees, you can pay. Pay. Last year, April, he, call, he asked me to send my account detail. I sent it to him. He started sending me 5,000 every month from April to like August. So this is not, I, I just told him that just start, a, start paying your children's school fees. Only we cannot be carrying all these things. Because I, I, the reason I did not disturb it is because I wanted to even come up by yourself and say, ah, okay, well, this is this also a month yeah, I can pay this time more. When I told him that, he started abusing me. He abused me, he abused my mother. My father that, is, that doesn't do anything to him. He abused my father, everybody in my family, he abused them. And I said, okay, I know what to do. He said, okay, I should send this, um, I should send him the school numbers and address. I did not send it to him because I know he will not call. He will not call the school. And I'll give the school his own number. I give the school his number to call him. So when he wants to pay the money, the following the week that he promised, he paid 10,000 naira out of the school fees. How much is the total for? Both of them, they are paying 103. They both because I put them in Arabic class. 103,000. Yes, I put them in Arabic class. So I was expecting them to tell me that he have already paid the school fees, but not anything. And I call him that, Agbaja, send your children school fees. I'm not going to pay this for this time. At least they, are your, they don't bear my son in, they bear your son in, they are your children. If you cannot pay for two of them, pay for one, one uh, person. I will pay the second one. You cannot leave the responsibility for only me alone. You are still alive, you are sound, you are doing well. He said, is that how to take care of children yourself? The children are taking care of, they are, you are taking care of, they are, they are not fat. They are not fat. Those children, I saw them on, on, the, on the WhatsApp. We post that picture. They are not fat. You don't know how to take care of children. You are not a good mother. You are not, you just started. I said, okay. If I'm not a good mother, you are a good father. Start. The, what I've been doing for the past four years, start it now and see how, how easy it is. I asked him that if you don't pay the school fees this time, I will take it up. He said, if I do not take it up, I'm a bastard. Okay, that's why I reported it. I hope that phone is off. No, of course, I want to show you something. Pardon? I want to show you something. I'm okay, all right. So I'm listening to you. Good afternoon. You are true, right? Yes. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Yanya Abdullah. Good I met this um, lady around 2012 to 13. We got married. We did the we did our we did our introduction and um April 24, 2014. So we started living together. I'm the one that rented the apartment. We were living there at Jego. So at time goes on, 
I do normally sell cement, all those building machines. There's one thing I can get from what you have said now. When you got married, you were actually working and earning income. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, I didn't normally give her money for food. So, I took my brother, because he said he wanted to go to Arabic school. And I took her to Isolo. She didn't normally go in the morning and come in the night. So, along the line, we do live together. So, one of a sudden, I got her, I, I just sat down at home one Sunday like that. She cooked for me rice and beans. I ate the food. I just, I saw her busy with um, phone, chatting on Facebook. I don't even know. She now raised her face and said, hey, Daddy, are you? Come up. What is, uh, if someone said uh, it was born in any 80s, what's the meaning? I said, someone that born in 1982, 83, 84, 85. So I don't even know anything. So in the evening, I said, oh, yeah, Ayo, I want to eat my money. Please take money and help me to do my money. So he forgot the phone on the dining. I now scroll through the phone. I now saw her chatting with a guy. So I say, oh, what's the meaning of all this? He now kneeled down. She kneeled down and said, she's sorry. I said, there's nothing there. I want to ask, when you say chatting with a guy, yep. is the context something offensive or unbecoming of As a As in, woman? like doing something because with a guy, ma. As in? As in chatting with a the guy. They are changing their number. They are, they are talking about, I want to be your date. The guy said he wanted to be his own date. Okay. So he now said, okay, she have accept. Okay. I saw all those messages. So immediately, she said, she knew, she knew that when I caught her, I said, she's sorry. So that kind of thing, you know, we never happen again. Mm -hmm. I have my landlord number here. She said, I don't normally beat her. I don't used to beat her. Have you ever beaten her before? I've never beat her. So she's lying. She's lying. I've never beat her. Now, my landlady number is there with me. Let me just so, let, let me say something on this issue of domestic violence. If you see, people take it for granted that it's only men that beat women. There are women that beat their husband too. And when it happens either way, that party that is inflicting pain on the other person ordinarily should be under lock and key. And the right place to go is the police station and insist that it must be prosecuted. Because most cases, a man that beats a woman or a woman that beats a man it's always the first time that is difficult. Once they do it once, it comes up any other time. So if it does happen, I don't know he's lying. I don't know whether it's the truth. And because even when it occurred, did you make report at the police station? Um, actually, my brother wanted to get my brother wanted to arrest him, but I just begged them. The mother came around. Why? When I came around. That's the mistake we I started me. begging. If my brother wants to arrest him, if that them, is true, arrest him. If that is true, is the mistake most Nigerian married women make. Because you think you are trying to protect the guy. You think you are protecting the man. On the 23rd of December, 2017, I was fasting. That day I was fasting. So she now came. I said, I said oh. If every more every Monday, I don't normally send her ten thousand naira. If I'm lying, she can go and print a statement of state bank uh, statement of account. Uh, in two thousand and seventeen, stroke eighteen, I don't normally give her ten thousand naira every blessed Monday. I every know, week, blessed Monday, weekend, I will give her. We were living together. Yes. Okay. I will give her three thousand naira by Saturday. Uh, this is money for your soup. Okay. And I will buy. At the end of the month, I will give her. Um, 40,000 uh, to buy food of our home. So, along the line, I said, hey, Sunday, I want to eat. He said, When was that? I was, the December 23. Okay. I was fasting. Because I normally fast from 23 to 31st. He said, uh, I, I was fasting, I want to eat. He said, You cannot cook anything. He started abusing me. And I abused her. 
<laughs> Honestly, she recorded this and go and pay it for her mother. So my second born was six months. Yet when they have picked the uh, baby from my matrimonial home to their home without seeing her, my dad tell us that yet when they try to bring that baby back to your husband's home, he did not bring what the baby. What's the age of the children right now? She's now four years old. She's now four years old. The second one about the second one. I think you have two children. Yeah, the first one she's going to she's going to be seven by uh, for uh, fourteen of next month. Okay. So she did not do it. She did not bring the baby. Till fourth of. Are you referring to when she moved out of the house? No, when she was with me. Till fourth of January. The next day after the baby clock a year. Uh, I mean the second born. And you were living together. In exactly, ma. But she dropped her. She she, her was, she went to their house to drop the baby without carrying you along or seeking. Honestly, yourself. and but I told my dad that is true. That's very wrong. No. You need to let him know. No, Sir, ma. He's lying. Along the line, when you are talking, I was not interfering. So, when, along the line, I didn't normally give her money. Said, okay, cook for me. She will not cook. One of, on the 15th of April, 2014, I went to um, uh, Dolphin at Ikoi. Before I came back in the night, she had packed everything and he dropped the key under the uh, net. And I called my landlady and said, are you aware when my wife packed all this? She said, she went to church. She said she went to church. And she called her immediately in my presence. That, oh, yeah, your wife to She said, Mommy, go to She did not say anything till, till now. And I keep on calling her. She will not pick say, Mo, you fair mom. What do you do? I did not even answer her. So along the line, I did not say, Okay, if you cannot marry me, I know I'm, I'm the owner of the kids. Give me your account number. It did not, it did not even send me a account number. See you. So you have actually requested exactly. This is this is the message I for sent the to her. Account number right? in order to be paying upkeep on the children. Yes. When was yes, that? Yesterday, please. When was that? Ever since Let she left. Let me know the date. The one. Which date is on it? This is February 3, 20. When she sent the account number, she said, "I don't know why you keep bothering me with this account number issue stuff. You're You've not been because... asking for it for years. This is it now. We talk anyway." Yeah, it's account. For years, this is the account number. Let me see. Here's the message. Where is the sanitizer? Where is the sanitizer? That is a message under. Okay. Okay, I'm listening. So, after the end, Immediately he sent me the account number. I keep on giving her 5,000 naira on the one. How much? 5,000 naira on the one. I keep on giving her. You mean first day of the month? Yes. I normally, I normally send her 5,000 naira till December last year. If you want to do maybe, I'm a Muslim. If you want to do our aid, do this thing, I will send her money for clothes. That one is different. So along the line, when we got to 2021, 20, any day I sent her the money, she would start cursing me, abusing me. And I'll stop this, this thing in uh, this year, this January. I said I will not send any money. Go and call whoever you want to call. So along the line, by April, um, March, March 12th, they called me from their school, said, oh, is this idea you? I said, yes. They said, your kid is in our school. And your wife gave us your number. That day was Friday. I was on sick bed. They called me around 4 p.m. in the noon. I said, when I get home in the night, I will call you back, ma. Immediately I, get, uh, immediately I got home, I transferred 10,000. I don't even know the person that, I, that is calling me. I don't even know them. Since they mentioned Ayoan already, I said they are my kids. I transferred the money. And I'll go to, on the 15th of that uh, March, I went to that school. Immediately I get there, when I get there, I ask her how much are they paying for school. He said that you don't want to pay 100,000 naira on each. So I have to know where I'm paying my money. So I went to that school. And now, see, the, see, the, this, see the school. Is, uh, there's no investor, so the school they are paying that, that kind of money. And I said, am I, am, am I, am I stupid? So I, I snap it. I snap it. There's no advice on the. In that, in that building. You, the building is uncomputed building, ma'am. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. I can see the building. That is me. 
did you try to find out from the... Thank you, ma. I'm going there, ma. Okay. So immediately, <laughs> immediately, I sent someone in that area to go and ask about that school. Don't you know this woman has added her own money on top of those How girls? How much is the school fees? They did not tell me the up-to-date The school money is 30000 a year. Well, you found out that yes. 30000 per and child. And he says, he said she's paying 103. Wait, 30000 per child. Yep. So that's 60000 a Yep. I know she mentioned earlier on. The 103. The, what do you call it? The Muslim. They do lesson, you know. The, wait. You do tell him where that school lesson, not lesson, you didn't mention lesson before until they spoke now. What you mentioned earlier on, I remember vividly, is that school fees and the Muslim Arabic, class. Arabic classes, and you stated the reason being for the fact that we don't like them running around the market. So somewhere to, so how much do you pay there? Um, Arabic class is 5,000 per month, per month, per month. <coughs> excuse me. Whatever you allege. You should be able to prove it. He can prove his own. And when he mentioned 30,000 per child now, he did not dispute that fact. So I believe he's stating the truth. Because if I mentioned something out of two, you would have said, no, no, I pay more than that. He did not. So now we can account for 70,000 naira. I want to know where the remaining, not even 70. You, you said 100 per child. One or three. Not for, one or three for, for both of both them. Both of them. It's not per child. Okay. It's three, uh, it's three months per term. It's three months per term. Okay. So each month is 10,000. Both Arabic class and the lesson month. Okay. Yes. 5K. 5K, 5K for lesson, 5K for Arabic class. So that's 10,000. 10, 10,000. Then that's 30,000. 10,000. Okay. Sir, so, okay. ma, me, 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 myself, I went to Arabic school. Sure, you understand, ma. Um, the fact is that they don't include Arabic fee. Arabic, Arabic. No, not in school. Though. She made a special. My dad is Arabic teacher. I'm an Arabic teacher. Well. You don't understand. The Arabic teacher that wait, you are Arabic teacher, but do you teach in school? Exactly, I teach in Arabic. Regular school. Marcus. That's Arabic school. Yes. That's what she's saying. She paid. Arabic school separate from the regular school. I went there by myself. They did not to tell where? me. To this the is Arabic the, school. Exactly. This is the school. I went there by myself. This is the school. It's so Arabic school. They, they, don't they don't collect money there. Uh, you find out they don't charge. I don't normally chat with them. This is the chat. Let me see. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of things. Let me see. Okay. Oh, I've seen it. And about the school fees too, what happened? Send some things now to show your response. Who deleted the message? That was the day he called that. He has, uh, he has reported me to the judge and I will come and face the court. Wait, I said I won't pay. What was this 7,500 for? On 1st of June. Who are you chatting with there? The, it's one of the teachers that this woman collaborates with. Exactly. So the teacher that she could knife do it over yep. what? Yeah, that's the woman I used to trust me. I now told the woman that she should give me the proprietor number. number. Okay. If they did not give, he called me on, she called me on her um, phone. I said, if you give me the proprietor number, I will talk with the proprietor number. I will know. Did the, you demand for the school's account details? I demand. I sent money to the to the account. Of How course. much did you pay? I paid ten thousand naira by myself. She mentioned, she mentioned it. Is it 10,000 naira per month? Yes. No, I don't even know. She That's did. how much she paid. That is told you know she mentioned you paid 10,000 naira. Exactly, I know. by March. Well, you see, what I'm trying to bring out now is the 10,000 naira we're talking about now is for the Arabic classes. For school fees, both school fees, school less fees. than Arabic class. <laughs> he didn't say that. Don't put words in his mouth. Okay. Ma, this woman unite with the, the lady, they wanted to be collecting money from me. And I said, I cannot pay. The last thing I can do is that if you give me my kids, I will know what to do. The plaintiff, Yetunde, left her husband four years ago. She alleges he was not responsible and was violent towards her. The defendant, Tijani, alleges that he caught the plaintiff flirting with another man on social media. 
He claims that he has never laid a finger on his wife. He also said he was providing for the family before Yetunde moved out of their matrimonial hall. George Fumi waits into this matter. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.